Yes, sir. Beautube, what is good? Biddy Matthews here. Thanks for checking out the channel. Locker gang, where you at? Locker gang, locker gang. Go ahead and leave the lock emoji in the comment box down below. Hit the like button for your boy. And if you aren't already, subscribe to the channel, man. We are dropping videos every week. We doing live videos every week. So go ahead, subscribe to the channel and welcome to the gang. So let's get right into the video. Now, I was at the gym, getting my flex on. You know, it's summertime, man. Your boy trying to look good, man. Look look at that, man. Look, the, the gains is there, baby. Oh, sheesh, sheesh. Let me know in the comment box down below, man, if you guys are working out, man. You know, along with us trying to, you know, have healthy locks, we got to have a healthy body as well. So let me know in the comment box down below, man. What, what is your routine, man? Do you do push-pull legs? Do you do chest days on Mondays? Do you skip the leg days? Come on now. We, we shouldn't be skipping the leg days. But um, while I was at the gym, I got a, um, a question. You know, I got up a notification. And, um, you know, with this question, I was, you know, I was saying something. I was like, you know what? I haven't really got into this subject yet. And today's the day. Let me uh, show you guys the question. So, all right, so my man Hunt Man says, when I wake up, I twist my dreads because when I take my do-rag off, they look frizzy and messy. What should I do instead? Now, great question, man. You know, so let's get right into it. First off, um, I seen a couple of red flags with that question. The first thing you shouldn't be doing is retwisting your locks as soon as you get up, okay? Especially when your do-rag has fallen off. Why, you may ask? Because your locks are dry. You should never, ever retwist your locks when it's dry. Second, he wore a do-rag to bed. Come on now, all right? Now don't get me wrong, a lot of my videos, you know, I wear do-rags all the time. So I know you guys are like, Benny, stop the cat, stop the cat. You have a do-rag on all the time, facts. I do. I really, really do. I, I wear my do-rag all the time, but that's just for the aesthetic of it, okay? That's just for the look of it. I genuinely do love do-rags. But with that being said, just because I like something doesn't mean that it's good for me, okay? In today's video, I'm gonna explain to you guys, I'm gonna give you guys three reasons why you should not be wearing a do-rag when you're going to sleep at all, okay? You just shouldn't, because I don't. I used to, don't get me wrong, I used to. But then I started seeing a pattern with my dreadlocks that I just didn't like. So, let's get right into it. First reason why you shouldn't be wearing a do-rag when you go to sleep is because it does not cover all of your dreads. It doesn't matter if your dreadlocks are short, it doesn't matter if your dreadlocks are long. It doesn't cover it all, and you guys know exactly what I mean, all right? When you put the do-rag on, you still got the back of your hair. You still got the little, sh the kitchen is what we call it. You still got the kitchen still hanging out. That's no bueno. No bueno, no sir, no sir. So with all that being said, it's like you're doing yourself a disservice, okay? That's like going to the gym, trying to get your flex on, and you're going home and eating pizza and burgers and fries. It's, it's counterproductive, you know? And I, I understand, you know, oh Vinny, but it looks cool. You know, I don't want to wear a bonnet, and I get that. But understand, like, yo, your, your locks are an investment. You're doing yourself no service by not rocking a bonnet or something else other than a do-rag. So with that being said, yo, first reason why you shouldn't rock a do-rag to sleep is, yo, it doesn't cover all of your locks at all. Second reason why you shouldn't wear a do-rag to bed is, yo, it will leave a crease into your locks. You know, one of the things that um, I get all the time that uh, people complain about their locks are, it's either their locks are uneven, or some locks are bigger than others, or some locks have creases. And you know exactly why? It's because they're wearing the wrong stuff on their hair. That's either because they're wearing um, a cap too long, you know, like a, a nice baseball cap too long, or they're rocking a do-rag all the time. They're on the public. They're rocking the do-rag. When they go to sleep, they're rocking the do-rag. Okay? When they're in church, they rocking the do-rag. Now, don't get me wrong. 
I appreciate you guys actually rocking the do-rag when you go to sleep, but understand, yo, there are better options. When you're rocking a do-rag, what's the first thing you do when you take it off? What's the first thing that you see? You see a huge crease right in the middle of your head. No, sir. No, sir, we ain't rocking for that. And there's, you know, so with the crease in your forehead, there's also a crease on your locks. And I started under, I started seeing that. And I was like, whoa, like, why does it always seem like there's a dent in my dreadlocks? It's because I was rocking that do-rag. Because I was rocking it way too, way too long. Way too many times. So even if you, you know, wear your do-rag too tight, it's going to leave a crease. But if you wear your do-rag too loose, it's going to slip off. And then you're going to wake up mad because your hair is nice and frizzy it's not even nice at all it's just frizzy and you look like dang man i'm taking the proper steps aren't i no you're not so with that being said lo yo do rag it doesn't matter how tight it doesn't matter how loose it is okay it will always leave a crease it will always leave damage into your locks in the long run that crease will be permanent and why you want to do that to yourself you don't want to do that right so let's get into the last reason the last reason why you shouldn't wear do-rags to sleep because there are better options. There are, okay? You have a bonnet and you have a do-rag cap. They have different sizes for you. So why are you limiting yourself just to a do-rag? And like I said, yo, guys, I understand. I really do, you know? When I have a shorty coming over, man, I ain't trying to be out here slipping with a bonnet. Nah, man, I ain't not, I'm not trying to wear a bonnet. I'm, can you catch me slipping, looking all feminine and stuff? And now I know, I know rocking a bonnet doesn't make you feminine, okay? But let's be real, it doesn't make you feel masculine. <laughs> but it's all a mindset. It's all a mindset in the, in the end of the day. So if you don't want to wear a bonnet, or if you don't want to wear a do-rag cap, yo, get some satin pillowcases. I personally don't like satin pillowcases, but my women do. Shoo, you know, when I got a nice little tenderoni coming through, you know, she got to protect her hair. And she's going to look at me like, wow, this man really cares. I'm like, yes, yeah, sir, unless it's a, a white snow bunny. I mean, you know, they don't really care about their hair. But, uh, you know, for all my colored sisters, I see you out there. Your boy's single, you know. So, yes, get a, get a satin pillowcase, you know. You, but you have to protect your locks, okay? All of these things will do a better job than a do-rag. And like I said, yo, I understand. If you, if you have nothing else, you know, definitely, yes, wear the do-rag. But in the long term, yo, a bonnet, a do-rag cap, satin pillowcases, they're all under $5, okay? You can spend $5 on those items. Or you can wait until the drop and purchase yourself a locker gang headband man the locker gang headband is definitely coming soon look out for that but with all that being said guys these are the reasons why i do not rock a do-rag anymore to sleep so with all that being said hit the like button for your boy let me know in the comment box what you guys think locker gang i see you i appreciate you and until the next video guys i'm Benny matthews i'm out